Hi, it's Chef Sarah Tresser here coming from the Blodgett Factory. I'd like to go over the Smart Touch Control with you. We will be offering it on many a variety of different ovens, but right here we'll be focusing on the Hydrovection. First thing you want to do is put your make sure your circuit breaker is on and the control will boot up. So right here, we're actually showing the standby screen. You have a tools key, you have your time, the power key, a light key, and your vent. We'll start by hitting power. You will have, first you'll hear the fan come on, and then, um, so that means you know that your oven is activated. Um, this screen actually shows you all your mode selections. So you have manual, manual cooking, menu item cooking, shelf cooking, your menu editing key, cool down, and your power off key. We're gonna start with manual. First you have your temperature. You just select the temperature, enter your temperature, and then the save and exit key. Same goes for your time. Select the time, enter your time, save and exit key. Here's your probe key. Select it. If you would like to use the probe, you would enter your desired cook temperature, save and exit. You have the option of a cook and hold as well if it is blue, that means you have the whole program activated. If it is not, that would be a cook and serve. To clear, if you decide you do not want to use the core probe, you just simply hit your the timer. Um, here is your humidity bar. 0% humidity is hot air. If you use the humidity key over here, it goes in 10% increments. If you'd like to dial it in to be something very exact, you would just select the numbers, enter your own percentage, and then save it. Here is your fan speed. This is a four fan speed oven. We have gentle, low, high, and turbo. We'll go back to gentle. Here's your fan reversal key. This allows you to optimize how many reverses in the bake so that gives you the most even bake from side to side. So you can just select the reversal, dial in your own time, and then save and exit. At this point, you can hit start. And now we'll clear out. Next, we will show the menu cooking. Menu. If you would like to choose a menu item, it defaults to the last menu item that was chosen. If you'd like to choose a different menu item, you would select the icon, go into the categories that you already, that are preloaded or you can develop your own. Select your item. And then there you go. It automatically goes into biscuits. The time, the temperature, the humidity setting is all in the program. And then you go ahead, once it's preheated, you would hit start. Just to point out, the red numbers underneath is the time for the stage. The white numbers on the top is the total cook time. Shelf cooking allows you to select, your, uh, select an item and associate it to a shelf. So here you would select an item. We'll select pizza. I'm gonna have large pizza. And then you would say, I want large pizza on shelf, you know, three and five, let's say. And then it'll tell you to wait while it's preheating. And then once it's preheated, it will actually give you a play key and the stop key. So that way you can start each shelf individually or you can show and start all at once. Escape to get out of it. And then we have the menu edit key. This here is where you would do any sort of menu editing or recipe creating. So if you want to, uh, to edit an item, you can select edit item. Choose an item that was already written or you could create a new item here. Um, we'll create a new one. Up at the top, you see a small icon. You'd select the icon. You would select the icon to choose the picture that you want associated with it. So I'm gonna choose corn. And then you just type. I'm not 
<laughs> and then once you're done, you can hit enter. And now you see that we have a corn icon and the corn title. This is where you would create your actual program. So whatever is green and highlighted is the, the, the stage that you will be editing or creating. So temperature, you would hit the temperature key. And we're gonna steam our corn. So we're gonna say 212. Six minutes. With a gentle fan. I'm gonna do a three minute reversal because I have a six minute time. And then humidity, I'm gonna say 100%. And I'm gonna keep my vent closed and I will not use the Core Pro. If I wanted to create a second stage, I would use the plus button. It will copy the stage that is above it and you can ed uh, and edit from there. If I decided that I do not want that stage, I could, whatever stage is highlighted is the one that will delete. You can hit the delete key. Okay, and then once you've made your recipe, make sure that you use this little disc and that will save it. Wonderful. And then you want to back out. And there's corn. Now what we're going to want to do is associate that corn into a category. So you would hit the edit category. We're going to say that corn is a veggie. <laughs> and now we want to select items. Everything that is blue highlighted is what is in that category. I want to add in my corn, okay, and then back out, and see the disc comes up whenever you make a change, so you would just actually hit that, it will tell you it's saving, and there you go. We now have corn associated into our, veg into our veggie category. Edit menus. This is if you were doing more of a time of day cooking or you wanted to do a specific breakfast menu or a lunch menu. So you would select a new, create a name for that category. categories to go into it, back up, and then save it. And there you go. We now have the default categories as well as the new break categories. All right, and then you can go ahead and you can use set active menu. So now that I've created a new menu item, I can use the default or I could select break. There we go. Cool down. Cool down is if you needed to cool um, from one temperature to another very quickly, you would select that. Or also at the end of the day, you can select cool down and it will cool your oven and automatically shut off. And then here, the off key brings you back to the standby screen. So I mentioned the core probe earlier and I just wanna go into a little bit more detail with it. First of all, it's a detachable core probe. So that means you can insert it into the product wherever your safe zone is and then bring it to the oven when you're ready, okay? So you can cook in manual mode or within a menu, menu item. In manual mode, you would just simply select your temperature and your time like we talked about. Hit your probe key, select your temperature, hit enter. And then you would, it says plug in core probe, pull out this, and then insert. And it automatically goes to whatever temperature, your in, the internal temperature of your product is. Now we're going to talk about the tools key. The tools key is actually the, the way that you can make the oven exactly how you want it. You'll want to enter, it'll ask you for a password, 6647. Just as a reminder, that is actually in your manual too. So if you do forget that password, it's right in the manual. So here you have some, some settings. You have your calendar, which gives you the ability to change the time and the date. 
So if you make an adjustment, you just push it, set your time, change your date if you'd like to. There you go, and then you would save it. You also have the Fahrenheit or Celsius, English and French. And here is a nice little button. This is how loud your control is. Goes from zero, which is no volume, all the way to 10. And then you would back out. Here you have parameters. So this is if you wanted to set a default temperature. Let's say the oven always, when you turn it on, goes to 350. If you want that to, let's say, go to 400, you would change your default temperature just right there. Save it. Your fan speed, you can change your default fan speed. So it, right now it was 350 with a turbo fan. You can change that right by simply pushing the button. Your default reversal time, automatically on a hydrovection, it's set to four minutes. But if you wanted to change that to be two, you could. Your default humidity is hydro 30%. Cool down temperature, so as the oven will cool down to 100 degrees before it shuts off. And then you have energy savings time. So energy savings time is actually if the oven is idle, running idle, it will it'll go into an energy saving mode and that's how you would activate it. There's an arrow if there's a second page and there you go, your energy saving temp. So this is where you would select what temperature you want it to sit at. Any changes you make, the disc comes up. Make sure you push it and it saves your changes. Here's your options key. This is where you can put password protection on any of the items. So you can have a menu passcode, so you can say yes or no. The cook ready beep, um, the oven ready beep, is what, that's what this is. So when the oven is at temperature, it will beep to tell you that it's at temperature. Cook done beep is when the timer is, is run out, it'll beep to tell you that it is done. And now we're gonna talk about energy usage. This is a nice little graph that shows you how much fuel you've consumed in the past week or the month. Let you just escape out of that. Calendar settings. This is if you wanted to do more of a seasonal menu. It would elapse, it would begin and end based on the month of the year that you would input. And then we're going to speak about manage menu data. This is where you would go ahead and get your recipe items to and from USB. So if you had more than one oven. You could go from oven to oven with it, or you could store it on your computer as well. So we're gonna go ahead and open our IntelliCorp. Insert your stick. And then if you want to go from the USB or to the USB, we're gonna go ahead and go to. You would label it to whatever you would like. And then enter. And there you go. It is now storing to the USB. Now that we've stored all of our menu items onto our USB, this can be taken with you. You can email the file. You can go from oven to oven. So it gives you a lot of flexibility and capability. So as you can see, the Smart Touch Control is really easy to navigate, very user friendly, and it has a lot of versatility and flexibility. We know that you're going to love it.